uh, it's two of only three options that people are going to have. There is the 536 bridge through West Mount Vernon. There is the Highway 9 bridge uh, between Cedro Woolley and Clear Lake. And the only other bridge there uh, that's in reasonable proximity would be the bridge that crosses the river, the new bridge um, connecting Burlington and Mount Vernon along Burlington Boulevard. None of those are designed for heavy loads of traffic, particularly the 536 West Mount Vernon Bridge and the Highway 9 Bridge. Those are uh, two-lane narrow bridges. And when you talk about the volume of traffic that we would see coming between, um, between Canada, Bellingham, parts north, uh, down to south, uh, it's going to create a lot of trouble. We're seeing here uh, on your screen a, another rescue helicopter um, coming in, and it, and it appeared that that helicopter that came in earlier too, uh, Coast Guard helicopter, may have may have also been from uh, Naval Air Station Whidbey Island that, that often helps out in situations like this when you have water rescues and uh, trying to pluck people to safety. They have one of those booms that comes out off the side with a long winch that can tether down 200 feet um, and that they can then send a rescuer down on that and, and pluck people out. We haven't seen that thus far, though. And we'll keep a close watch on that, uh, Rob. I want to make uh, clarify a bit of information because uh, there will be references to this bridge uh, in reports as being uh, functionally obsolete. And I want to read to you word for word from the uh, DOT website as to what functionally obsolete means. Functional obsolescence is assessed by comparing the existing configuration of each bridge to current standards and demands. A bridge can be categorized functionally obsolete in a number of ways, like having substandard lane widths or narrow shoulders. Another example would be a bridge that does not have enough vertical clearance for large trucks to pass under, causing repeat